Hey there, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Today is October 28th, 2021, and this show is brought to you by KC Deeply, A. Rasputin the Tasteful, Marcus B., The Anti-Chris, and Gagex, 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 I, I don't know, but he also supports the show. Thanks all of you for supporting the show over on Patreon. Earlier today, I figured out pretty much the best search phrase to type into shitbradsays.com. In case you've forgotten, that's the website that Synthhead created which lets you search through the transcripts of every single show that I've posted on YouTube. The search term I put in there is this. It says, in the background two. That's it. Because, you know, I can't use the fuck word. I can't use the hell word. That's the search phrase. And now there's this giant page of every single time I've ever told anyone to tell someone in the background to shut the fuck up. And I'm just going to click on a few of these. Like the first one on here, it's from earlier this month. It says, I ripped your road signs down. Tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. You, that's my fucking wife, you dumb motherfucker. You want to talk shit? I will find you. Yeah, just tell her to shut the fuck up. Tell her, butt out. Say, butt out, lady. <laughs> you can shut the fuck up. All right, I got you. I got your number. 981 <laughs> no, no, I, I could just sit here and listen to these all day. This is amazing. Like, this right here makes Synthhead's website completely worth it. Before, I was kind of questioning it. I'm like, is this website really any good? No, I'm just kidding, Synthhead. But I really like it now that I can do stuff like this. Oh, you tell that so you good. tell that giggly Have girl in the background to shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, you just told my daughter to do that and have a great... <laughs> you shouldn't have your daughter listening while strange men are on the phone. Yeah, exactly. Taught that lady a lesson. And I didn't realize this before. It looks like it's searching between both of my YouTube channels. So it's searching both the Phone Losers of America channel and the Snowplow Show channel. That's pretty cool. I didn't know it did that. Yeah. Tell that dumb hoe in the background to shut her mouth. Now you dumb son of a bitch, now you really get it. Now get your fucking ass over here right now at the manager's house and we'll I, settle this. I can't You understand there. me right now? I'm busy running my distribution hub, sir. Because you're a fake ass! Yeah, you're a fake ass and I... <laughs> this is the best. Okay, uh, if the problem persists, please just let me know. Okay, can you tell that lady in the background to shut up? Uh, I can't, she's a property manager. I know, but, you know, can, can you put her on and I'll just tell her? N- no, no thanks. <laughs> okay, here, let's... Let's go to the very end, because this is a really long list. It appears that I seem to tell people a lot to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I mean, to tell people in the background to shut the fuck up. You know what? I'm just going to do rapid fire here. I'm going to play a bunch of these. Sorry, I've got to do this. Hope you don't mind. I'm kind of enjoying this. Hey, could you tell all those people in the background to shut the fuck up? We're trying to wish you a happy birthday. Okay, Brad and who? Brad and Linear. Brad and Linear. You know wow. Me? Oh, who, who wants- Back in the phone show days. This is from 2009. Yeah? Can you tell those kids in the background to shut the fuck up, please? Hey, it's Carlito. I'm too hard. I know how to call you back. I'm at a, my son's pet rally. Tell everyone so to shut I'm the fuck up! Back. Mike, can you tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up? Who are you? I, I'm with True Green. This is Dave. Why would you call at this hour? 
Tell her to shut the fuck up. Can you hit her? Jeez. What the heck, hit Brad? Her. I'm going to just hang up because this is just a little too bizarre. No, you need to hit you her. Know, you know, it was it was 2015. It was a different time. I no longer encourage spousal abuse anymore. Ever since the incident. Tell, tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up. This is men talk here. Whoa, excuse me? This is a number that I have registered with my children's school. So what is... So my child shirts. knows the number. It is a measurement of safety. We got the home phone number so my kid can get a hold of us. Uh, tell, that bi- me? tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up. It's between men. You, I'm going to hang up in here in one second. Okay? One. She's not a bitch. She's my wife. So you can just call, throw your goddamn mouth here in a second. She's your wife? I want to know exactly where you live and I want to know where I, who I'm talking to. I'm going to write down your number right here, right now. Oh, my number's on your caller ID, and I don't have to tell you where I live, because you're a thief. You're a curling ball thief. Remember that show? Curling ball thief. That was from 2015. Oh, tell tell that lady in the background to shut the hell up. I don't have to shut up. This is my problem. If you want to shut it up, you come here and shut it up. Tell her to get in the kitchen. This is ridiculous. Hey, tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. You shut your mouth. You're talking to my wife, and you don't use that kind of language. I know, but Go to she, hell. she was being an... <laughs> I feel like we should just go through every single one of these. Like, I went all the way back through the end. We're up to 2015 now, but it's a really long list. Can you tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up? Because it's hard to hear when she's just yapping away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't shut the fuck up. I will beat your motherfucking ass. I thought you were Christian. You are Christian. What? Ma'am, please shut the fuck up, okay? Don't shut the fuck up. Hey, hey the house. tell that guy in the background to shut the fuck up. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Well, tell him to shut the fuck up. Listen to him. He's he's just going on and on. Men are talking. Hello? Hello, sir. Hey. Hey, 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 listen. We didn't pass out any candy. If you're the same cat that called here the night, Halloween night at 2 o'clock, wanting to know why their kid didn't get candy, and now you're calling one to do this, you need to come on over here and handle this like men. I didn't call you before. I'm 40, you're older than 20. Let's talk to each other face to face. Come to my house, I will do you the justice of stepping off of my property into the street, and let's talk about this stupid Halloween shit that we do not participate in. Call my house again. I will. Just watch me. Whoa. You know, instead of doing a real show today, let's just do nothing but this. Let's just play all of these. Can you tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up? Just tell her that men are talking? Like, what's she going on about? Why? you need to shut the fuck up. Thank you. What's your name, dude? My name's Roy still. It hasn't changed. So can you tell those people in the background to shut the fuck up? Because we're trying to talk. They're really loud. Hey. Hey. Roy, this almost sounds like you're so... Said- such a lame brain this sounds like a uh, almost a prank call almost no it's not a prank call I want, nobody I want, can be as nobody I'm, can be as dumb as you are i want my fucking weed pipe back asshole her name. Hey, hey tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up because this doesn't concern her uh first of all you your tone with me you need to shut your mouth you mean shut the fuck up tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up she keeps interrupting oh why are you saying this well, just she kept interrupting, so I was just thinking, you know, maybe maybe she should shut the fuck up. You are the one, aren't you, Dave? Oh, what? What are you talking about, Dave? You are the one. What do you mean? What do you What do you mean, the one? Like Neo? Like Neo? Why are you using that kind of language? T- hey, tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. Uh, you work at Albertsons and you talk to your customers like that. Well, I don't How even care. Are you? She says she doesn't want to be our customer anymore. She's just going to go to Walmart. So fuck that lady. That one was from the grocery store complainers show. Hey, hey, Frank, can you tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up while we're talking? Hey! Oh, 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 oh boy, you got <laughs> four man. I tell him you, Steve, uh, I'd like to talk to your manager. That, that just made her louder, didn't it? Tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up, because this is between me and you. We're just trying to work out this problem with the roof. So hey, she- that person's my wife. Oh, my God, she's annoying. She's just jabbering on while we're trying to talk, while the men are trying to... <laughs> Have a conversation. I mean, what's with her? Those kids in the background to shut the fuck up while we're talking. Excuse, excuse me. Tell Those that, are my grandkids. Oh yeah, he's really annoying and really irritating. Can you just tell him to shut the fuck up? Because we're trying to talk. No, I will not tell my grandkids that. Just, just no, just just say it. Just say shut the fuck up, and that that'll make him be quiet. That's that's what I do. It, it keeps him quiet. You got to say it with some force. Oh well, force. that's really nice that you talk to your grandkids and use that type of language. Yeah, my kids and my grandkids. 
just real quick, can you tell that person in the background to shut the fuck up? Because they're, they're being. Pardon me. Tell him to shut the fuck no, up. He's, out, he's mad too because I don't do that. Oh, I know, but just tell him to shut the this fuck up. This is a stupid be- phone call. What was on earlier? Hey, can you tell that lady in the background to please be quiet? Uh, won't you kiss my ass? Hey, hey, don't don't talk to me like that. I don't have to talk to her like that either. I, I didn't say anything that bad. I could have told her to shut the fuck up, but I was trying to be nice. Well, you know what? Kiss my ass. Some what? dick telling you to shut up. Uh, I'm, sir, sir, can can you tell that that lady in the background to shut the fuck up? Oh, you are with the spoofers. Control your woman. Okay. Hey, can you tell that person in the background to shut the fuck up? Excuse me. I, I heard someone just like whispering in the background, very rudely. Can you tell that person to shut the fuck up, please? Uh, no, I will not. And that's very rude for you to talk that way. Can you tell that lady in the background to please shut the fuck up real quick? I'm sorry, excuse me? I can hear this lady in the background talking, and she's very loud, and it's um, breaking my concentration. Could you just please tell her to shut the fuck up? Okay, sir, I'm sorry. I have many agents on the phone in my office, and if you're going to use foul language, I'm going to have to disconnect the call. Well, I'm just talking like a human being. Everyone talks like that. Up somewhere. Hey, can you tell that cat in the background to be quiet? He's meowing way too loud. It's very rude. The cat is not meowing. It was. I could hear it. No, it, kept, it wasn't. It kept meowing really you loud. Didn't, you didn't. You didn't hear nothing. Hey, hey, look, look. Can you tell those kids in the background to shut up? No, if, I if, won't. I won't do that. I'm, I, you're calling me on my weekend. Yeah, but it's it's hard to hear you because those kids are being so fucking loud. I, I, Will you tell that lady? Yeah, to, tell, tell that lady in the background to be quiet. She's being loud. Oh, listen, 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 you. You. You're out. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And a lady in the background is part of this too, so don't tell me to shut well, up. Well, you're being rude. He's on the phone. Shut up. You're, shut you're up. being. You are. You are being rude. Hey, t- tell her in the background to shut the fuck up, please. No, you, you should, shut the fuck up. Steve. Hey, don't, don't curse at me, you little bitch. Don't curse at me. Oh, no, fuck I'm, you. I'm, don't cu- don't call this number I'm again. A, I'm and, a, and want a bitch and want. I don't give a goddamn who you're from. Look, I'm shut from a radio station. Up. I don't give a fuck who you're from. Sounds like shut you the do. Fuck up, you fucking dick. That lady in the background to shut the hell up. I don't have to shut up. This is my house. If you want to shut it up, you come here and shut it up. Tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. I'm just so trying the to. The lady in the background is my wife. You fucking asshole. Now, god damn it. I, if if you're for real, we may have a lawsuit going here. If something. Oh, happens, don't all be right? like that. Don't be like. Yeah, don't you be like that. And, and also tell your Deb in the background to shut the fuck up. This is between. You know, between men, men talking here. Hey, Roy, you need to see me immediately. No, you'll I don't. Change your tune real, you'll change your tune real fast. Oh, what, is that a threat? Hey, tell that phone in the background to shut the fuck up. Okay, I got this. I want you to body you right body slam that phone. Tell those people in the background to shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, you shut the fuck up, motherfucker. That's my family, motherfucker. Okay, well, you need to tell your family. Tell your family to shut the fuck up. Hey, cuz, you shut the fuck up. No, you listen. Hey, listen. No, you listen. You listen. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, motherfucker. We will. We'll, we'll, you just need to tell your family to shut the fuck up. They're being fucking loud. I'm trying to listen to my sister Daisy. Can you tell your hoe in the background to shut the fuck up? Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, look, dude. Taja, tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. I'm telling you to shut the fuck up. How about that? How about you come and tell me to shut the fuck up? How about this? How about you just shut the fuck up, lady? Try to. Trying to say a sat- satanic prayer over here. Hey, 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 don't call Satan an asshole. Satan's not an asshole. And you tell that lady in the background to be quiet. No, that's my wife. And she's on you. We don't need this at 1 30 every morning. Well, then you shouldn't have signed up for it. Sir, please don't swear. It's not necessary. Well, I don't know. You just kept chiming in. I mean, her were trying to talk. So you, you just be quiet. You just zip it. Zip it. Actually, she's my regional. She's my manager. So. Yeah, but still, you know, <laughs> that doesn't give her the right to be rude. You just, you just tell her to zip it, Boy. sir. Sir, you need to tell that woman in the background to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize that you told <laughs> Can you tell all those people in the background to shut up, please? No, I will not. I'm in a restaurant, you idiot. Why are you doing in a restaurant? There's a pandemic. Get out of the restaurant. I tell you what you can do, you can come meet me at my bar and we can have this fucking discussion in person. I think that's all of them. 
I hope that wasn't too long. I mean, look, for me, this is like an hour of listening to this stuff. I'm going to edit this down so it's not an entire hour of me telling people to shut the fuck up. So however long this ends up being, just remember, I had to listen to like, I don't know, four times as much maybe. Hopefully I'll get this under 15 minutes. Anyway, I think that is enough of an intro. So it's time to play some new pranks where I think I don't tell anybody to shut the fuck up. But maybe I do, maybe I just don't remember. Last night, I did a live show, a late night live show. I think it started at 11.30, my time, which is the West Coast time. But the area that I was calling, it was 2.30. And I think the show went about 90 minutes long. And most of it was just the phone ringing and nobody picking up because it's 2.30 in the morning or 3.30 in the morning or whatever. And most of the people I talked to would just yell at me about how late it is. But I still had a good time. And I was on Twitch and people were giving me awesome suggestions in the chat room. But honestly, I don't know if this is going to translate into a good show. I hope this is okay. I don't know what this is going to be like. I have not done my editing on this yet that's what i'm gonna do next so here it is here is what may or may not be a good show that was originally an hour and a half long and now it's hopefully much much shorter sally yeah oh my god thank god you answered who is this oh it's roy down the street you know your neighbor yeah oh i'm sweating all right so are you handing out candy this year no. Why not? Uh, I don't think so. Who is this down the street? Uh, Roy down. <sighs> Roy, Roy down. Roy, Roy down the street. Over on Carry okay. Lane. You know, kind of around the corner. Oh, right. No, we're not. Sorry. Why not? Why are you not handing out candy? Do you hate kids? Why are you calling at this hour? I'm sorry. I work. I'm sorry. I work nights. Shit. All right. Okay. First call. It, it'll get better. I promise. For now, we're going to have to listen to some more flash dance. Maybe it'll just be this all night. We're just going to listen to flash dance and phones ringing. That's going to be our night. There's nothing wrong with that. Lena. Hello. Lena, it's Roy, your, yeah. your neighbor. Hello. Are you there? Hello. Lena. Hello. Oh, it's Roy, yeah. your neighbor. It's it's Roy. Hello, can you hear me? Lena? What's going on? Oh, I live over on uh lane. Kind okay. Of more toward the lake and everything. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm sorry to call so late. What's going on? Uh, do you have candy yet for Halloween cuz I think me and my two kids are going to come tonight. Because I don't have the kids on Halloween this year. My ex-wife's got them. So we're going to just okay, do trick I'm or treat. sorry. Why are you no, sorry? I'm sorry. Goodbye. Why are you sorry? What the fuck? I did your idea, Tim Riggy. Oh, this is just a list of... um. It's uh, next door people from Nick. So some of them are HOAs and some of them are not HOAs. But I think we're over on the uh, Eastern Time Zone, so... Please leave your message. It's almost 3 in the morning. Probably not the best time to be calling people. Hello? Dorothy! Yes? Hey, it's it's Roy, your neighbor. Yeah? Thank God you picked up. Uh, I just needed to let you know about something. You know the jack-o'-lantern that you got up there? Yeah? It's scaring my daughter. It's making Aww. her. It's making her cry. Okay. It's so yeah, scary. It Why? Down. Why'd you make it so scary? Well, it's not very scary, actually. It's just a little jet, well, yellow jet, orange jack o' lantern. But okay, thank you for can, this is kind of late. But I'll take it down in the can, morning. Can you thank just you. round out the edges a little bit and make it like more silly than scary? Oh no, no, you're calling the wrong person. I don't have a jack o' lantern like that. Oh no, no, I'm saying like uh, just the the one that you do have. Can you just? Maybe round out the mouth. Hey, come on. I am having horrible luck tonight. Oh, shit, you guys. We've got a special case here. I know it's probably not going to work out, but we got to get the song ready. Natalie, Natalie, you're Jewish. Man, why is that so loud? I got to fix my soundboard. Okay. We're going to call Natalie. She 
probably won't pick up, but you know, just in case. Whenever I find a Natalie, I gotta se- sexually harass her. It's the rule, you know. You're always on the run now. Natalie? Yeah? Oh my god, thank god you answered. It's it's Roy, your neighbor. Okay. Are you Oh boy, are you trick or treating this year? Are you trick or treating? Who is this? I live over on Yorkton Lane. Ma'am, look, look. Um, you, you know who I am, right, Roy? I I uh, run by sometimes. I jog. Okay. Because I go around the blocks. You know, I go up and down the cul-de-sacs. And you waved at me. Okay. Okay. I wrote you a song. Can I play it? Ma'am, Natalie. Natalie? Yes. Oh. I mean- oh. I, th- I thought you hung up. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Natalie, Natalie, you're Jewish and that is why naturally we should phone, but actually I'll take a hand job. What do you think? I re- I re- <laughs> okay. I don't know what else I expected. <laughs> that was... I'm gonna have a hard time keeping it together tonight, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hello? Lori? Yes. Oh my god, thank god you answered. This is, Who is this? it's Roy, your neighbor. I, li- I live yeah? like a block over. I'm on a, a drive. Okay. Oh, hi. how are you doing? What's wrong? What's going on? Uh, well, I'm on the HOA board. You're what? I'm on the HOA board. Okay. And they don't approve of the dream that you're having. What the fuck? I, I don't make I don't make the rules. You guys, I could not hold it together when she said what the fuck. <laughs> Alright. I don't think she's picking back up. Thanks, Anne Gamal. Is that your name? Anne Gamal? For that idea, I, I took that from Angamil. Hello, Lisa. Lisa. Yes. Oh, thank God you answered. It's it's Roy, your neighbor. Yes. Hey, um, I'm sorry to be calling so late. My plumbing is just on the fritz tonight. Can I use your bath? I live just kind of like around. Around, I'm over on um, Drive. Okay, wait a second. I am so confused. Who is this? Uh, my name is Roy. Is your bell? I'm, I'm down the street a little bit, but like around the bend. You okay. know, like like around the block, around the bend. But I'm still on the okay. same street as you. Can I just okay. can I just use your bath? No. Is, <laughs> what, why not? Is, no, is anyone? Is someone in there? I thought this would be a good time of night to ask because nobody would be using it. Hey, uh, Lisa, come on. Let me try it one more time. Hello? Hey, can you tell Lisa, just I, I'm not going to, I pooped in my tub. I'm not going to poop in your tub, though. I've learned my lesson. Okay. All right. Were you sleeping? Yeah, we're sleeping. What were you dreaming about? Mm-hmm. What were you dreaming about? I was dreaming about you. No, come on, be mm-hmm. real. Don't, 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 don't deflect like that. Tell me what you're dreaming about. Mm, I don't know. Can Can I talk I to Lisa know, again? She like... sounds cuter than you. Yeah. Okay. You sound like My, a big, ugly old like... man. I am. Okay. Yeah, I... Let me talk to Lisa. She's hot. Uh, Come on. <laughs> I did not like that man. That was Tim Riggie's idea. Wait, no, it wasn't. It was um, someone whose name is Blue. Powered Wolf. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Come on, Nancy. I need to borrow your car. Hello? Is Nancy there? Who's this? It's Roy. It's your neighbor. Oh. Yeah, hey. What's up? Well, I live over on Sussex Drive. 
Sussex Drive. I call it Sussex because I'm British. Oh. Uh, is Nancy's car available? I just need to borrow it for a little bit. I don't even know you. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. I know Nancy. It's not about you. Can you put Nancy on? She's not here. Where is she? She's out of town. Why? What happened? Did you guys? Are you guys breaking up? What are you talking about? Who the hell are you anyway? It's Roy. I live. I live over on Sussex Drive. I don't care where you live. Then why'd you, you ask where I live? Why'd you ask who I am if you don't care? That's weird. I don't even know who you are. Oh, I'm, I'm Nancy's friend. I just need to borrow her car. Did she take her car somewhere? Yeah, she's out of town. Why didn't she fly or something? Because she likes to drive. Do you have? I a... don't know. I don't. I don't have a clue who you are, and and it's kind of uh, late in the or early in the morning, isn't it? Yeah, it's like three twelve a.m. What are you doing calling me then? Oh well, I was trying to call Nancy, and you picked up the phone. Like, what, what happened to oh, Nancy? That's because you're calling on my phone. Where'd she? Oh, she gave me this number. Where'd she go? Where? Where's she at? She's in Connecticut. That's a long ways off. Yep. That's like, are you sure she's not like, is she, did she take the kids? Is she leaving? I think you got the wrong number, bud. What? No. N Nancy. I need to borrow. What's her last name? I need to borrow her car. What's her last name? Nancy's last name or my last name? Nancy's last name. Oh, it's Nancy. I don't, I don't even know who you are. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm Nancy's friend. What's Nancy's number? Let's let's call her on three way. Why don't you just go to bed? I don't. I need to borrow her car. You're not borrowing anything of mine. Well, no, of hers, not yours. I don't know who you are. It is my. It's it's my car. What? You, Nancy doesn't own anything. Like, do you own her? Yeah, I own her. She's my my pet. Whoa, that that's like slavery or something. I feel like I should call somebody. Do it. That's weird. I just want to borrow Nancy's car. You're not borrowing anything. I'm your neighbor. I just. Live I don't care. I, I don't even know you. I've never heard of you. I live around the corner. I polished your trees before. Polished. Yeah, because they were filthy. What are you talking about? Last year, even, last year I was coming over there at nighttime and and polishing the bark. On your trees, because it was really dirty. Like you guys don't take care of your trees. You gotta be. You gotta be done something, bud. Done something. You have to be on something. Oh, you tree. You said done something. It sounds like you're on something. You can't even talk properly. When's Nancy coming back? I might, <laughs> might need to use her car. <laughs> Polish Nancy's tree, if you know what I mean. All right, Nancy's out of town, everybody. Nancy's in Connecticut. Wow, that's a horrible sounding voicemail. Hey, you picked up this time. Man, your, your voicemail is so muffled. Who's this? Oh, it's, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Were you sleeping? Yeah. What were you dreaming about? Who is this? Uh, it's Roy, your neighbor. I live over on <laughs> Drive. What can I do for you? Around the corner. What were you dreaming about? What can I do for you? Oh, uh, I just, um, I, I, I'm, you're not at our Halloween party, and it's tonight. Why aren't you here? What was that noise? Were you peeing? Hey, <laughs> was he peeing? What was that noise? That was Tim Riggie's idea, so that was completely his fault that that didn't work. Did you hear it too, Synthhead? Was he peeing? Hello. Were you peeing just then? I mean, you don't have to be embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. Oh, you're still peeing? Yeah, this is my house. This is my phone. Oh, yeah. No, phone. I just, I was, I'm a little concerned because it's taking you a long time yeah. to pee. Hey, have hey, you man. gone? Hey, man. Have hey, you gone hey, to hey. a doctor hey, lately? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What? Hey, have a good what? night. What? What? You want? Why are you have, not coming have, to my party? Have a good night. There's free alcohol, motherfucker. He was peeing. <laughs> His name was Krista, apparently. I mean, maybe it's his wife. I don't know. That's the name on here is Krista. Hello, this is Joe. Joe, hey, it's Roy. It's your neighbor. My neighbor. Yeah, I live on uh, Drive. 
Okay. I, I, I was laying in your backyard, but I'm like four houses down. Like, do you have a dog or something? Um, I have a small dog. Why? Well, I got dog poop in my hair. I was out there just a little bit ago. And, like, I, I, I was laying in your backyard, and I got dog poop in my hair. Why the fuck were you laying in my backyard? Because I, I was just hanging out, you know? I was just chilling and looking looking at the stars and stuff like that. Maybe smoking a little bit. But, I mean... That's a good way to get shot, buddy. What? No, we don't live in the country. Come on, we're on a cul-de-sac. Oh, we practice. live in the country, bro. No. Yeah, you fucking play with me. You're no, going to learn, this buddy. This is a neighborhood, and you can't go around shooting people, but... <laughs> I'm just I'll saying, come back in the backyard and find out. Well, why don't you just clean up after your dog instead of getting all upset? You know, maybe take care of the problem, you know, fix the source of the problem. Yeah, you know what you should do is you should come knock on the front door and we can talk about this face-to-face and see how shit goes. No, the point is I want to be alone. I want to just chill out and lay in the backyard and not not get dog poop in my hair. Uh-huh. Where are you from exactly? Uh, I'm from right around here. I, I lo- I'm on yeah. Love Drive. But I'm like, yeah, what's four, your address? Four houses down. Why? Yeah, what's your address? 88. 88, uh huh? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not inviting right. you over. Like, my yard's well, I, pretty full because, you know, I have a nice swimming pool. Unlike mm-hmm. you, you're just, your yard's just kind of flat and boring. Mm-hmm. But it's nice and serene, and it's a nice night out, and I was looking at the clouds and the stars. So, what are you talking about, bro? Stars. You know stars you know stars are real, right? Like those are other suns. There's like other planets up there, man. I was out there like looking up at the other planets. And how exactly did you get my number? Uh, I looked it up in the directory. It's on the internet. Mm-hmm. So I was just letting I wanted to let you know you need to clean up after your dog. Mm-hmm. Like don't be okay. don't be that neighbor. Don't don't just have a, a yard full of dog shit. That's gross. Right. So you're at eighty eight. Maybe. Okay. Or maybe All that's right. maybe that's my next door neighbor. I don't know. Could be. Who well, knows? okay. Maybe I'm at yeah, ninety. Should, maybe I'm over ninety. Yeah, you should. You should stop by sometime. Maybe I'm at seventy eight. Yeah, you should stop by sometime. Uh, I did. I was there tonight, and I got dog shit in my hair. So I don't want to come mm. in your house because who knows how gross it is in there. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, I, you know, I wasn't trying to start shit with you. I just was hoping you could pick up well, your, I, after I your mean, dog. I don't know who the fuck you are, be, bro. And you're be, calling me at fucking 3.30 in the morning. Be, I mean, that's, you know. Why don't you be a decent human being and pick up after your dog? Why don't you go fuck yourself? That what? That's not a neighborly thing to say. I don't give a fuck what is neighborly, bro. I, I know. I can tell. Because yeah. like, you, your, yeah, your yard you just... Tell. Full of dog shit. You're a disgusting mm-hmm. person. Ugh. Right, yeah. Gross. Okay. Yeah, I catch you laying in my yard, I'll fucking put an AR-15 in your fucking mouth. No, you won't, because that's illegal. I will. No, you can't do that. I don't do give that. a fuck. Do it. Do it. You See don't what give, happens. W- will you not give a fuck when you're in prison? Do it. Go you're, ahead. You're See like, what happens, bro. Why, why'd you go to prison? Because I don't give a fuck. Yeah, could do it. <laughs> See what happens. That, that seems like a really stupid decision to make. Why, why, yeah, do it, bro. Why wouldn't you just, uh, you know, say, "Hey, get out of my yard, man," or I'll call the police. I, I might, I might give you one chance. Oh, that's nice of you. You're not going to stick your AR-15 in my face. Depends. I don't know. It depends how I'm feeling that night. Somehow, I'm not afraid of you at all. Still, it's weird, mm-hmm. isn't it? Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, you're a piece of shit. Clean up after your dog. I love you. Mhm. Mhm. Is your wife there? I don't even have a wife, bro. So you're. I know. I just idiot. wanted to like laugh at you about that. <laughs> okay. And who are you exactly? Uh, Roy. Roy. Over at ninety-two. <laughs> drive. Mhm. Ninety-three and a half. Okay. I have an AR-16. Oh yeah, that's that, cool. That's one better than the AR-15. Mm. Loser. Mm-hmm. Loser. Mhm. Yep. Okay, buddy. Is that a tough guy? Can I go to bed now? Roy, are you on the phone? Oh, oh, uh, Mom, I'm on the phone. Can you please hang up? I'm talking to a friend. You you shouldn't be on the phone this late, Roy. I know, I know. Just, I'll I'll hang up. I'm just talking to a friend from school. That's all. All right. You, you, no, he's not. Yeah. Don't listen to him. He's so full of shit. Well, hey, Man. Roy, don't have your friends cursing at me. I, I'm sorry, Mom. Just just uh, hang up, and I'll 
we're going to hang up, okay? Okay. Well, I don't know who that is, but you shouldn't be cursing like that. How, how come you're being so quiet now? I'm waiting for you to finish. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to hang up now before I get in trouble with my mom. Oh, wait. I mean, before I get in trouble with my mom. All right. I love you. Bye. Bye, honey, baby. Clean up your dog shit. That's it? That's all you got to say? He didn't fall for it, you guys. Usually they fall for it. Now. Mary? Hello? Mary? Yeah? Oh, gosh. Your your phone's, like, echoing back at me. It's crazy. It's like a de um, demon or something. Mary? Yes? Okay, last year, my son and I, you know, we were trick-or-treating at your house. And um, he, you know, he came up and he said trick or treat, and you poured, you poured a can of Pepsi into his bag. No, I didn't. Who are you? Who is this? It's Roy, your na your neighbor, and you know that wasn't very cool. He didn't like that, and got all of his other candy sticky, and some of it even leaked through, so he could taste Pepsi and some of his chocolate. Can you please not do that this year, ma'am? Hello? Hey. Thank God you answered. It's Roy. Hello? Who? Is this Kelly? It's your yeah. It's your neighbor Roy. Um, I, I I've got a like my car's out of gas and I, I just kinda live around the corner, you know, over on um Indiana Drive. Kelly? Yeah. I, I just need to siphon a little bit of gas out of your tank. Is that cool? Bye. I'm just going to siphon a little bit of gas out for tomorrow, for work. That was synth, Synthhead's fault. Synthhead ruined that one. Let's try it one more time. I sound sketchy. Why? What did I do? Well, is that a no or is that a yes? Hey. Dude, where are you? What? Where are you? It's 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, I, I'm your neighbor. I live just around the corner. Hey, asshole, it's 3.30 in the morning. I, I've never met you. Yeah, it you want to call me up in my house? Yeah, I just I wanted to borrow right. a little bit of gas to get to work in the morning. I have to go in at like 6 in the morning. Nobody fucking cares. Who are you? I'm your neighbor. You should care about your neighbors. You should love your neighbors. Oh, <laughs> Dragon Mirror and Wasted would not approve of that man. He doesn't love his neighbors. Hi, this is Jason. Leave a message. Jason? Hello, Jason? It's your neighbor. It's Roy. Are you there? It's Roy. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. I live over on Jack Drive. You know, like behind you, kind of, but a few houses down. Pick up the phone. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello? Jason? 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 I didn't mean to be Carol. Now it's weird. This is getting weird. Sorry, Jason. I'm a girl now. My pronouns are she, her. From now on, from this moment. All right, call me back. Bye, Jason. Douglas? No. Hey, Douglas, it's Carol down the street. Okay. Hey, uh, me and my husband, we're, we're uh, shooting high-intensity microwave beams at your house right now. Uh, and okay. if you, do, you, do, you, do you still use CFL bulbs, light bulbs, in your fixtures? Oh, you know what? Douglas? Who is this? What is this? Were you dreaming? Were you sleeping, I mean? Of course, man. Hello? It's hard to hear you. Can you put your your mouth up to the phone? No, I'm, I'm hanging up. Bye. No, no, I, I'm your neighbor. I'm your neighbor. What the fuck, Douglas? Come on. Let me try him right back. Douglas! What? Douglas, are you there? Are you there? Yes, what? I, I'm your neighbor. 
It's Carol. Hi. Like I we you know you know me, right? No, I don't. Okay, well I live on Drive. Yeah, just round the corner. What well, whatever. What what do you do at three o'clock in the morning? Uh I need to find out if you're using CFL bulbs because we're shooting high intensity microwave beams at your house and it should make all your light bulbs light up. I really couldn't care less. But if if you have LED bulbs, it's probably not gonna work. Please don't call me again. Thank you. Well, well, I I need to find out about this. Can you just get up and walk around and and see? You guys, I'm gonna have to give up. It's bedtime. It's twelve forty. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna keep going till one o'clock. That's that's my thing. I'm going to one, one a.m., which is in thirteen minutes. That's what we'll do. There might not be any more answers tonight. We'll keep trying for thirteen minutes. And part of that might be, uh, you know, just me playing music while I run off to the bathroom for seven minutes. Who knows? Well, it's only nine minutes now. That's a long time. I might need to play like six minutes of music. Well, shit. I think we're done. We got a couple okay ones, though, right? Yo. Hey, is Anna there? No, man, you got the wrong number. Well, no, I don't. Come on, put Anna on the phone. Don't be that kind of a boyfriend. I'm not going to steal her from no. you. No, no, no. You got the wrong number. No, I, I know Anna lives there. It's cool. She gave me this number. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm your neighbor. No, you're not. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, I, I live down the street a little bit. I'm on Cla no. Claremont. No. Yes, I do too. What do you mean no? Uh, I don't... I, I, I... I don't care where you live, but you're calling the wrong number. Well, you're you're acting like Anna doesn't live there, and come on, like I'm I'm not trying to I'm not trying to steal your girlfriend look, from look, you or your wife or whatever she is. Look, what? Well, tell me what number you're calling. Tell me what number you're calling. Uh, it's this um two two three. No, you're not. Yes, I. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Oh wait, no, I'm calling 1993, aren't I? Oops. I do that a lot, you know. I copy and I paste stuff, yeah, okay. and it doesn't it doesn't copy for some reason. Yeah, okay. And it just okay. dials the Don't previous number. Five. Hey, what? What was that noise? Why did Why does that happen? That was the previous guy I was calling. Good thing he had me repeat the number. All right, bye everybody. I've had fun. It's been fun. It's just I'm really tired. I need to go, so I'm gonna go now. Thanks for listening. Thanks for all the suggestions. Hey there, it's Corbin Guy. Yay, hey. I haven't called you in a while, but it's... I'm, I'm glad you're making up for it by leaving a voicemail twice as long as you're allowed to. This is a minute long. I'm pretty sure it says in the outgoing message, only 30 seconds, motherfucker. Oh, okay, I was going to get down on you about something I just heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My what? memory fails what? me. Yay, but guess what? King Timber's coming up soon. Is it not? Is it what? not? Is it not? Pig's not? <laughs> All right, I'm not behind on my voicemails. This voicemail, it looks like it's from today, and he thinks Ding Timber's coming up. <laughs> All right, thanks, Corbin guy. I don't know. Here, do you have anything else? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ding Timber. He's going to scream oh, shit into the like that, phone. Okay. So, Great. yeah, let's let, I got my grease marker handy, and okay. I know we do not prank locally, but I'll, I, I will, uh, you know, drop that uh, number on the back of a couple of windshields. So okay, I great. I can't wait for you to do that in September of 2022. It's going to be great. And you have to prank locally for Ding Timber, but you're not doing the pranking, so it's okay. So, um, have you ever considered, I mean, I know you do a lot of tree service stuff, if you're considered uh, calling people, like you could do it this late in the year, but say that you um, you got the wrong household. You planted trees in their gutters. Okay. Um, you usually do like a gutter service uh, cleaning. What what if I go into people's backyards late at night and I clean out their gutters? Because it really looked like they were neglecting those gutters. But you're planting trees in the gutters is part of the your state's like new green initiative. Yeah. Trees should start spawning like next spring. Um, it's just going to be a bunch of foliage up there. It's okay. It'll keep the leaves out. Actually, you know what? This sounds like a good idea. I might have to do this. Yeah, you should, you should plant trees in people's gutters. Okay. Anyway, hey, Roy. I'm doing it. Um, You're a really okay guy. Oh, thank you. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I am. Um, you're, you're, an, you're an okay I... voicemail or caller person. Hey, can you install 5G antennas on people's houses? Thanks. Bye, Queer. All right. A prank request and... uh. 
I think what was meant is an insult, but you know what? It's 2021. I'm okay being a queer. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not allowed to be angry about stuff like that anymore. Hey, Brad, this is AZ from California. Hey. Uh, I just want to let you know your son's in my backyard. I caught him at 4 a.m. in the morning, ah, stargazing. Um, fucking little brat. You can come pick him up. You know, he's next to the Dairy Queen. You know okay. where that's at. Yeah, yeah, right uh, over there the by the Walmart. It was great. Glad to hear my my uh, voicemail on there. I hey, keep up the word. Thank you. Hey, Brad. Hey. Call me Texas calling in. I was just wondering, um, I was, I recently listened to Hobo Stowed number 10 and during the voicemail, Tim, you said that you're glad that people are using your prank show as medication for their depression. That's right. So I was just wondering if that means I can, uh, bill the cost of the, uh, Hobo Stowed to my insurance. Yes, you can. Otherwise, I just can't. That is allowed. Most insurance companies will take the snowplow show. You just have to ask them about it. They like it because it's so much cheaper than medications. So you should definitely do that. Afford it. Thanks, Brad. Love you. Love you, too. Hello, Brad. This is Mano1 with hey. a request regarding... Mr. Mano1 with your three voicemails here that are all really long. And I'm only going to play one of them. Prank request. If you're, in fact, 68 years behind or four or whatever, prank request, why don't you consider deleting all of them? No. Dun, dun, dun. That's, that's rude. And then asking listeners who are actually still listeners... To go and just submit nah, them again. Because they did a lot of hard work on some of the stuff that they've sent me. Like, sometimes I get really good details. They, they send in screenshots and all this extra information. And you know what? I'm okay having 900 unread voicemails. I mean, emails in my request directory. In my request directory. It's okay. My <laughs> prediction is that you would have a manageable amount of requests. Because the way it is, why would I suggest... Stuff because you're not gonna get to them for years. And nah, it kind of sucks that's that not true. I, I do look at the new stuff, and I kind of start at the beginning of the list and work my way back. But not everything gets used. You know, I'm filtering things out, like the stuff that I don't know what to do with, or they don't answer. I started this new thing recently where I made a directory in, you know, it's like a subdirectory of my prank call request directory, and it says these numbers I have attempted at least one time, and anything I attempt one time, I just move it over there so that I know that if I try it again, I'm just going to delete it. So I'm only trying things twice. I mean, usually I try them a couple times each time, but that's what a lot of the old prank requests are. It's just stuff that I never could get to pick up. And I tried them many times and they just would not work out. But maybe with this new directory, I've got that taken care of and I can keep things under control. Maybe. I mean, I agree with you. I'm definitely way behind on prank requests, but I can't just delete them. Uh, every once in a while, I'll give some of my numbers to another prank call host, especially if it's really old stuff. I'm like, here, have my shitty old stuff. For people who are still listening to you, I mean, who are new listeners for... Anyway... Bye. Are you suggesting that people start listening to my show and then they stop? Because that's unacceptable. People should listen forever. Fucking assholes. Hey, Brad. It's Tribson. Hey. So, I remember years ago, someone lost a voicemail. And they're like, hey, I know everybody's playing GTA on the, P on the PLA community. But no, we need to play next. Russ. Russ. So the video game, right? Well, I yeah. tried it on PC way back what? then. I tried to add... There was a Rust server for PLA for a while. Is that what you're saying? You're talking about the old Rust server? Uh, or are you the, saying we need a new one? The, the person, they told us the server, and they were never on. But guess what, Brad? Wasn't that XYZ? I think it was like GAD, but I remember XYZ being there. I remember Sloth being there. And I guess that tells you how long ago this was. Like a good 8 to 10 years, probably. But I couldn't get into Rust. I was bad at it. and Rust is now... Like it. People would kill me, and it hurt my feelings. Release on PC. And you don't have to buy the game, like, you know, or it's released on PlayStation, on Xbox, sorry. And it's cross-platform, and you don't have to pay those crazy retail prices. I hope the next GTA is cross-platform. That'd be nice. This is the prices dropped a little bit. And anyway, just, uh, you guys should add me. Crimson Legacy. One word. Crimson Legacy. Okay. And we can all play Rust together and build base. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye, Brad. What do you play on, though? Is there a way to make, like, a PLA community on PlayStation or on Xbox? I don't have a PlayStation or an Xbox. I do all my stuff on the PC and the Switch. And I think there's a list somewhere, uh, or maybe it's in the show notes. 
Oh yeah, there it is. Worldofprankcalls.com slash gaming. That's where a bunch of our Switch codes, our friend codes are, because uh, we were trying to all play Animal Crossing together, but I haven't played Animal Crossing, like, I don't know, all year, because I upgraded to, uh, you know, like a, a bigger Switch instead of my portable Switch Lite, and guess what? It, it didn't transfer over my Animal Crossing game, and I can't bear to just start from scratch again. Anyway, no, sorry, what I'm getting at is that I don't know if you can create some sort of a PLA-themed community on those things, and people can join it, and then I can link it on the bottom of every single Snowplow show, like I do now with Animal Crossing and GTA. Because GTA has the PLA radio crew, you can join that, so it's really easy to find other PLA people playing GTA. I mean, you know, there's never anybody on, but occasionally there's one or two people on. On PC, anyway. I, I don't play on the other things. So if anyone wants to try that, make some sort of a community thing for people to join games on. Really, I could just put the name Crimson Legacy on uh, on that game page and say, Hey, everybody join this guy on Rust. Maybe you'll meet other PLA people. In fact, maybe I'll do that. Here, I'll write it down on a piece of paper and maybe I'll remember to do that later. Uh, I still have a lot of voicemails in here and I don't want to play anymore because I am now two days behind uh, in releasing this show. I did this uh, live show on Wednesday night and it's edited. I remember it being okay. I hope it was okay for you guys. So I'm going to do my editing and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Thank you everybody for listening. Hope you enjoyed the live show. Thanks everybody that was at the live show throwing ideas at me while the phones just rang for 90 minutes. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Casey Deeply, I Rasputin the Tasteful, Marcus B, the Antichrist, and Gage, wait, that's not even a, that, that's not a G, that's a Q, Gaquex? Did I just type that wrong? Should that be a G? Sorry, whoever you are, if I'm mispronouncing your name. It's not my fault. I have really poor vision. I can't see shit. Speaking of that, though, I'm getting glasses today, though. New glasses. I haven't updated them in 10 years now. I'm going to be able to see everything. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I need to finish up this editing so I can go pick up my glasses. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around, and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Um, but I can call him and let him know.
Hey, wake up. Wake up. I'm in your room. Wake up. I'm in your house. Psst. Hey. Hey. I'm in your house. The door was unlocked. I got here and you were sleeping. Come on, wake up. It's time to wake up. Let's go, let's go. Get up, out of bed. Get up, out, come on. Hey, I'm right over here. Turn on your light, stupid. You need to get out of my house. This is my house now. Get out. Get up and get out. Get your shit and go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just here to wish you a happy Halloween. People are always telling me that they fall asleep to this show, so I thought it'd be funny to wake them up. Happy Halloween, everybody! <laughs>